Optimal timing for tracheostomy remains controversial in non-COVID-19 patients and becomes more complicated in patients with COVID-19 due to the perceived risk of aerosol generation. Considering that the insertion procedure is aerosol generating, therefore posing risks to operators and attending staff, delaying tracheostomy is likely to benefit staff by reducing the risk of transmission. This must be balanced against the potential benefits to the patient of early tracheostomy, such as reducing laryngeal injury and laryngeal dysfunction associated with prolonged tracheal intubation, reducing the cumulative burden of sedative agents, and promoting pulmonary hygiene through better secretion clearance. A review of 26 international protocols demonstrated that timing for tracheostomy in COVID-19 varied from 3 to greater than 21 days, most recommended a minimum of 14 days of mechanical ventilation prior to tracheostomy, balancing the risks of patient benefit with risks to staff.